Louisiana Beer Reviews recorded at Mathern Supermarket, Laplace, Louisiana. This morning we're looking at New Belgium's Tour de Fall, introduced in 2014 based on their Tour de Fat event that they hold every year. This is a pale ale brewed in Colorado, 6% alcohol. Um, here's a Best Buy date. December 21st, 2014. Tour de Fat is not coming here. <laughs> it's going to be in Washington, D.C. in Durham, North Carolina, but nowhere else in the South. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's see about this here, here. Um, the International Bitterness. Bitterness units are 38. They use pale chocolate, rye, and caramel 80 malts. Target and Cascade are the hops. And Amarillo and Cascade are the dry hops. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. Bro bros haven't tried it. 83 out of 100 on Ray Beer, 82 out of 100 for the style. So, They're saying uh, that it's a nice beer, not wonderful or fantastic, but they're giving it good scores. Pale Ale, okay, here at 6.40 a.m. Put it in this little uh, Anheuser-Busch shelf glass for the tasting. And then they have the Tour de Fall stage on the label. So a little smoke, a little water vapor leaching out. <laughs> Not leaching out, but <laughs> that sounds bad. Uh, flowing out. Okay. A medium off-white head and the appearance is sort of like a nut brown or like when the leaves are turning brown and this guy is great okay um it's very clear and i don't i don't see any bubble streams at all well there's a little stray bubble here and there let me retract that not really bubble streams there's stray bubbles and some little particles of sediment. If you saw it, you wouldn't think it was a pale ale, though. If you're looking at it, you'd think it was a Martin beer. But if you smelled it, you'd think it was a pale ale. Uh, it smells uh, typical, I would say, stereotypical New Belgium um, fruitiness, that citrus that you get with them. And it has a woodiness, like a Maybe that's a lemon pledge I'm thinking of. <laughs> the wood polish. All right, anyway. Oh, man. That hop resin is giving this flavor, like, super citrus citrusiness. And a little nuttiness. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe the most, but I'm getting that. The mouthfeel is about medium, light to medium, but more toward medium. And the finish is dry. It's easy drinking. Whether it's morning or night, I think you enjoy it and it's pretty mellow um, that little nuttiness kind of brings it into the fall season even though it's still summer here in a technical sense and in a real sense because it's hot and humid about 92 degrees every day um, a fall pale ale okay I think this does the trick Nice lacing. It almost 
tastes like watermelon. That's what the fruit is. Watermelon. Okay. All right. It's not flavored with any juice. Okay, a fall beer that has watermelon in nut aspects. And uh, it's not too bitter. Something different. Um, I'm going to go along with Beer Advocate and them and say it's a very good beer. I'm not going to go into excellent, but I'll say B+. Plus, very good. So if you see it, buy it, try it, and more than likely, you'll like it. So Laissez Le Bon Ton Roulé, a very good beer from New Belgium. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Matherns and check out their varied and growing beer selection. One thing I'll show you, a lot of Paul Honor. We got the best before Dave, even on the case box. May 2015, I'm saying ale, but uh, I think it's not an ale. Why it says that? And then we got beers, the best of Belgium, according to InBev. Left, Blonde, Stella Artois, and Hugard. All right, anyway, y'all come on down to Louisiana.